back to my film and TV channel. We're all staying safe and well. And we're going over to, yes, not particularly new film, but it's, uh, I think, fairly new on Amazon Freebie, if you've ever watched that on Amazon. I'm, since Amazon have changed a few months ago, the sort of layout of the site, uh, I find it a little bit hard to get around it. Uh, Netflix is still fine, but Amazon's a little bit difficult to find decent new new things at the moment, uh, which is unfortunate. But obviously this freebie I've dipped into every now and then. So this was uh, certainly not brand new, but uh, certainly in the last 12 or 15 months this was put out there. I'm going to have a look at uh, a Christian Western romance film. Yes, Bernard Christian, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not religious, I'm not, but... I just thought the title was interesting. The book is based on sold three million copies, so I thought I'll give it a go. And uh, yeah, it was all right. It was all right. We're going to have a look at something called Redeeming Love. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It'd be great to have you on board. I don't go all Christian very often, so uh, enjoy it while, while you can. So it'd uh, be great to have you on board. Spread the word if you can. Do film reviews, TV drama reviews, information vlogs. The odd quiz thrown in as well, just for special occasions, stuff like that. I won't be testing you on this one, don't worry. Right, so please, and if you are pressing buttons or you finish pressing the buttons, if you can just press us that like button. I'm just trying to get a little target between 10 and 15 likes for these uh, TV and film vlogs, so if you can do that for me, I'll be very appreciative. Right, Redeeming Love, 2 hours, 40 minutes. Yes, a little bit long, a little bit long, I must admit. A 15 certificate, yeah, it's quite raunchy for a Christian film, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> little get not too raunchy, but a little bit raunchy. And as I said, it's currently on Amazon Net Freebie. Directed by DJ Caruso, who co wrote the screenplay with Francine Rivers, who obviously uh, wrote the book, uh, the 1991 novel of which uh, this film is based of the same name. And it's based on the biblical story of Hosea. I have no idea. And it's set in the American Old West during the California Gold Rush. Yes. Very well done, very well done. And it stars Abigail Cohen, Tom Lewis and Logan Marshall Green as the main characters. And score-wise, well, it's a very interesting this. I mean, the critics hate it and the public uh, quite like it. Very odd, very odd. I'm not, I'm not so sure why there's such animosity from the critics. I have no idea. Rotten Tomatoes, 4.7 out of 5 from the public. That's their audience. 95% positivity. That's impressive, isn't it? Internet Movie Database, Joe Public, 80% positivity. Just 6.7 out of 10, but still a good still a good score. That's based on over 8,500 scores and reviews. But, but, then you go and have a look. You go and have a look at the critics. Metascore, the critics site will look at. There's only seven critics have bothered to leave a score, and it scores anywhere between a lowly 12 and 50 out of 100. Yeah, the AV Club's AA Dowd, he scored it 33. He said, Redeeming Love is a kinky power fantasy in the halfway convincing disguise of wholesome faith-based entertainment. I don't know, I'm Mr. Dowd. I don't know what your your life's like, but uh, all right, it's a kinky power fantasy. I, I don't, I just don't know. I mean, I'm man of the, I'm a man of the world. I don't. I don't know, some of these, uh, are we are all, all surrounded. These critics surrounded by, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what you'd call them. Uh, certainly a bit naive. I think uh, certainly nothing wrong with what you get in this, as far as adult uh, adult entertainment as a 15 certificate is concerned, which is what it is. Well, Jerebert.com, Neil Minow. He gave it a little bit more. He gave it 50 out of 100. He said, the biggest problem is that the most touching moments are hammered so hard. Redeeming Love could have tried to reach a broader audience but settles for preaching to the choir. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm the choir. I'm not the choir by any means. I'm, I'm way out of the demographic. But uh, I found nothing wrong with this. I found it entertaining. That's what I watch a, a film for. Rotten Tomatoes critics, well, you can see the audience loved it. The Rotten Tomatoes critics, obviously not not in line with their audience, just 3.9 out of 10. 11% positivity, so literally 1 out of 10 thought it was okay. Uh, shambolic. Three free fresh reviews and 25 rotten. Mike McCahill from The Guardian, he said, this movie thinly scatters a parable's worth of plot. Well, that's what it's based on. It's based on, a, it's based on the Bible. Uh, you know, taken to the gold rush times. It is what it is. It's an adaptation. This movie thinly scatters the parables worth of plot across 134 minutes. Yes, it's a bit long. And resembles HBO's Deadwood recut for Sunday school purposes. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't, there's nothing wrong in that critique there. I think that's spot on. Pious, puzzling and punitive. All right, with a sternly wagging finger, never far from entering the frame. 
I'm to- I must have watched a totally different films what these guys are watching. I don't know. It wasn't preaching to me particularly. I just thought it was a nice film. Randy Myers from San Jose Mercury News. Perhaps I'm naive. Perhaps I'm the naive one. I'm only 64. Perhaps I've been I've certainly not had a sheltered life, that's for sure. Uh, San Jose Mercury News is Randy Myers. He likes it a little bit better. Love might be best embraced by the faithful, but it is well made and has much to say about the healing power of love and how we all deserve second chances. I agree, Randy. Thank you very much. Right, Bernard, what are my little thoughts on this? My, uh, Rever- Reverend Bernard here. Well, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. I liked it. It, it entertained me. The critics don't like it, which probably is a good reason to like it. But it's got a market. It's found it's, found its audience, which it certainly has. And, of course, the critics, have been, I think, have been... Uh, I don't know. As I said, I think sometimes you watched a different version of the film to what I did, but the in the main, very harsh. As I said, I'm not a religious person. I've no interest in in all fairness. Uh, I just watched this as entertainment. And despite being, yes, probably 40 minutes too long, it 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 wasn't at all wasted time. It was fine. It was fine. It was just say it would have been nicer with half an hour, 40 minutes cut off it. I quite liked it. And it's a nice story. Uh, it dragged on just a little bit, and it's certainly if you like if you like your lifetime movies, there's no difference to this to me, and and, uh, and a sort of grittier uh, one of them in theory, yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that if you like your lifetime stuff. There's a bit of lust thrown in, as I said, uh, a bit of adult, you know, adulthood as it should be for a 15 certificate, and it has a happy ending. So what more? What more could we ask, or what more could I ask? I was, you know, as I said, I was a bit. I, I did look at some of the reviews before I watched this and did sort of approach with trepidation, but I don't know what half of them are on about it. It was fine for what it is, and certainly on as a, as a freebie on freebie on Amazon. So what? It, it was fine. It was very very watchable for me, and I, I enjoyed it. Apart from yes, it perhaps was a little bit too long, but. I, Say I watched it in a couple of sittings. I probably watched an hour, then I watched the, the second part in a, over the space of a, a morning and afternoon. So that was ideal for me, spot on. So certainly, certainly an okay mark for me. As I said, I don't, I don't know what why the critics are, have got so high and mighty about it. I'm not too sure. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think anyway. And uh, this god bother and now will leave you alone. <laughs> um, far from it. Uh, until the next time, thanks for watching, guys. Please, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>